Oh, she'll be crazy. Well, we had another calf sometime during the night. And as you can see, she's shaking her head. We call uh, this cow man cow. And when she calves, you kind of have to, uh, she's one of our other crazy ones. So that's a big calf. That's a good looking calf. Let's get these other cows out of here. You want to let 328 out? And I'll let these other ones out. I don't want to say slow, but it has been slow on the cabin end of it. We're having like roughly a calf kind of a day. We're not seeing any of them being born. So we woke up this morning and man cow, is it a, I'm guessing it's a bull calf? Can you see if it has boy parts? Yeah, we're not going to get too close to her, I don't think. Um, oh yeah, it's definitely a steer. So, okay, and then we've got our bottle baby here. And we got to get him some milk. We had him sucking from a pail good, and we're not sure what happened. And all of a sudden, he just, he didn't drink at all anymore. He wouldn't do it. So we've converted him back. We got him sucking from a peach teat. Uh, so it's got the nipple on the bottom. We just pour the milk in the top, hang it from the fence. And that seems to work. If you fill that up and uh, if that gets right hot, then we mix that with two liters of cold stuff. That's the proper amount. So, okay, and we will uh, process man cow, her calf. It puts us down to 10, uh, <clears throat> 10 cows are left to calve. So, and of those 10, we're thinking there's uh, about seven. They're not even, they don't even, they're not giving us any signs that they're even close, so. Um, I, I guess we'll see, but it looked like it was on before, but I'll check the other side to see if the oh, yeah, these teats look very that cast been on this side for sure. I'd be very surprised. So, all right, so we're at the point where we're having uh, just our, <clears throat> we're actually putting the cows that have just calved, they're just going right back out here. So that's what we'll do with man cow and her calf. We'll go for a quick walk through, make sure everybody's doing good. We had a couple uh, calves earlier on this week that uh, came down with pneumonia and a couple with scours and we've treated them <clears throat> and the one I'll go for a walk there they're on that side make sure they are doing good but they were doing really good yesterday so we got a bed again today we're bedding about every other day there's a lot of animals and they make lots of poop but every morning and late afternoon, we are still checking to make sure the health of them are good. Their heads are up and that they're walking around. It's good to get them out, out in the boat, but these calves are getting pretty big. They're getting a good size already. Hey, let me go one with its head down. Hopefully you're just snoozing. This is Dylan's, no, this is Quinn's. That's my nephew's. Were you just napping? Hey? Yeah, good napping. Hey? Hey, everybody's head is up here. It's 
nice out today. Well, not temperature wise, it's pretty cold, but uh, <coughs> there's no wind. The sun is out, and I'll take that. Do some stretches here. Do a check in this one. Hey. Oh, come on now. You don't have to be all like that. Hey. Come well, up we go. Okay, let's go. Up you go. Up you go. Up you go. So what we look for is uh, when, we're, when I'm doing this, I'm looking for bums that are really, really wet. Cows that are coughing or their heads down. Uh, they look sad. They look sick, really, is what I'm looking for. But if their butt, this one's got a dirty butt, but it's not a wet bum. If it's wet and uh, wet and runny, then we uh, we keep our eye out for to make sure they don't get scours. So. Here's Minnie. Nice spot to warm, keep warm. Yeah, looks like the cows are all doing pretty good. We're still uh, at this very moment, we are still uh, over 100%. We're one calf above 100, or we're one calf, <clears throat> we're one calf above. Uh, so we've had 30, 140 cows have calved. 139 cows have calved and we have 140 calves, but I'm not sure uh, that one calf in the barn I don't think is going to make it, so. For the most part, the calves are all roughly the same size. There's some smaller ones, but yeah. This calf right here, that's the one that had scours really bad. It wasn't doing very good. Uh, we had to go to it a lot to get it up. We had to give it electrolytes. That's like Red Bull for calves. And uh, it's doing much better, much better. We were actually going through our cows yesterday and looking at all the <laughs> how calving has been going for the last I think it's almost uh, the last 50 cows that have calved I think we've had to pull one there's been a lot like there's a lot of cows in the last couple weeks we're, we're waking up in the morning and they're out here and uh, that's a that's a nice way for it to that's a lot nicer and with these temperatures we're not nearly as worried but there you are are you wheezing today little buddy oh that's your baby yeah so we treated him two days ago or a day and a half ago i should say so it'll take a little bit for him to get 100 percent. hopefully he does yeah, but he's he's getting up he's walking around Hopefully we get them there, but yeah, Peter and Dylan are busy feeding right now and me and Quinn are just taking care of a couple things in the barn and then we need to bed, so. Walks to us. How does that make you feel? Oh, that makes you feel that way. Okay. Looks like I kind of want to open 
Energie da. Ah, yeah. hip! Hip! You're not scared of me, are you? No, she's not scared of you at all. <laughs> I was petting you yesterday. We were friends. I go open this gate up. Do you think there's any shot she'll walk in? Well, right now her eyes are on me, so we're gonna confuse her if we keep doing this. You open that gate, let's try and... Oh, we're actually at minus one, so they're now at zero. That's a big calf. That's no buddy. But we never helped this cow, as you can see. She's uh, pawing at the ground. Holy cow. Oh, no, never mind. That's not too bad. 121 pounds. All right. Let's process this. And we're going to remove your manly parts. Also, I think the cat's enjoying the milk more than the calf. That's funny. <laughs> Is the calf not drinking that milk at all? Uh, calf's not hungry. That's one. Yeah, I don't know if they pop up with some veins, but... Yeah, we could put some fresh draw in here. But... No, I. There we go. Oh, you better. Come on. The other way. There you go. There, now he's up. Alright, uh, that calf is done. We're gonna. And we, we caught that calf on. Hey, are you mad? All right. <clears throat> All right, Quinn, she's coming. Go find your baby. That calf has been on. And we're going to boot them out. That mom will take care of it. She's a good cow. A little crazy at times. Come on, let's go. Follow your mommy. Don't. I'm helping. Then go walk. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I guess we'll just let them walk. They'll figure it out. So. With the calves spending lots of time in these shelters, we gotta make sure we keep uh, any manure or uh, make sure they got fresh straw.
lot of snow has melted and this slough is starting to fill up. Typically this water comes right up to, well, where I'm driving across here up to this fence, but we're not quite there yet. And last year, these the cows that we had out here, they only had a little bit of an island out here. So I think they'll have more this year than they did last year. But it's still better out here than it is back in the yard. And I think these uh, critters are all doing pretty good out here. Well, that straw spread nice. That was a better bale than the fine stuff we've been doing, or no? Oh yeah. Okay, let's. You'll get the door, and we'll go find them. Let's leave this. I'm guessing they're on the far side. Then we'll run them down by that drinker and then uh, bring them into the barn. We uh, had, yeah, you can leave that open. We had two cows that we had C-sections on and they have both had their stitches in long enough. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go bring them into the barn and remove the stitches. They're both side by side there. And the calves in their playpen. Come on, let's go. Yep. Da -da -da -da. You hold her here. We'll bring them both in at the same time. Me and Peter will grab 662. Hey, move, Quinn. There you go. Okay. Step. Step. There you go. We're good. <coughs> there, Peter, walk in there and pull those two back this way. Hurry up, Gwen! All right. Oh, I don't have my knife on me. Do you have yours, Peter? Yeah, I do. If it's is it sharp? Question. It's a fence. Of course, it's gonna be good. Done. I think I don't need this now for a bit. No? Well, we should be able to pull it out. Pulls out just like that? Yeah. Yeah, let's try that, because then I don't... There's a couple here that are just, you know, a little bit of a pain. There we go. That worked nice. Oh, I like that.
That took three minutes. Four. Sorry. Is that hard, that area? Nope. I don't think so. Looks fine. Oh, yeah. Well, I just did this. It's just a. As long as those uh, red spots are fine, then it should be good. She oh. can go up. One done. So she go out that way? Yep, we can let her up that way. Okay. I'll go up the other gate. Sure, you go do that. Okay. Oh, no, that way. Go ahead, then you're okay. Go ahead. You can go ahead. Why are you being done? Go ahead. Go ahead. Friend. There you go. Well, if the ladies don't find you handsome, handsome they should, should find you handy. Well, oh, you're ready for this, aren't you? Perfect. Oh, that spoke too soon. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Quinn's got the race going. 662 is done. Let's let her out. Push, push, sweetie. There we go. Well, you're a little smarter than the last one. All right. Okay. Me and Dylan are going to. Uh, Curiosity has us, and we're uh, we're curious to see what our replacement heifers are weighing. So we're going to weigh one of them. And hope. We're going to try and get her to come in here. Hey, push her, push her, push her. Get behind her. Yep, yep. Yep. There we go. Okay, close the gate. 800 and... 834 is kind of my... 830 pounds. Okay, that gives us an idea. We can open it up and let her right out. Oh, I'll keep this. <laughs> open up both gates. Open it up. Yep. Okay, so that was one of our short horns. That was born uh, last year, and it'll be a replacement. It's probably on the smaller side. You can open it up all. Don't try it. She's trying it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look at her. Where we got her? She's a bit on the on the shorter side. Nice looking heifer, but yeah, 830 pounds. So. to drink from the pail. There you go. I looked up to see where we were a year ago and a year ago today we still had I think 25 animals left and only and we calved out less last year than we did this year. So we are way we're further ahead this year our calving uh, has come a lot tighter so we're having more calves in a shorter time which is uh, it's really nice so that when you're spending time waking up at night for cows which actually this year most of our cows calve during the day very few actually I felt calved between 12 and midnight but anyway hope you enjoyed the video and calving season and uh yeah Just about done. Half done. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it.
thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.